What's up YouTube? Nermador Weldor here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about some of my prime weld machines, some upgrades I've done, and what exactly I do with these prime weld welders I've bought. Because a lot of people ask, you know, why don't you have a bunch of Millers and Lincolns and things like that? And I found the prime welds have worked very well for me. And I'm going to go over some of the machines that I'm using and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. Here we go. So my Harbor Freight belt fed air compressor broke and I was in a pinch. So I bought this Cobalt Quiet Tech because it was on sale. It was like 80 bucks off. And surprisingly, it's been doing very, very good. I was going to buy a bigger one after a little while, but this Cobalt's actually keeping up. So I'll say I'm very impressed with this thing just to throw that out there i was going to get the harbor freight fortress version of that air compressor which is they're both just clones of the california air tool quiet air compressors which i like how quiet they are it just is so peaceful to not listen to a loud belt fed air compressor in my shop anymore but i couldn't um, i couldn't find it at my local harbor freight so i found the, the cobalt one at lowe's which actually had a better warranty than the Harbor Freight one, and it was $80 less, so I went with that, and it's been doing really good for my plasma and my air tool needs. Now we're going to go over my first prime weld machine I bought, which is my Cut 60. This has been a fantastic 60 amp plasma cutter. I use it primarily on my plasma table over here. However, I have it set up to quick change where I can drag it out here and work on stuff like this out here like this big contraption which follow me on instagram you'll see what it's for so issues i had with it right out the gate were solely my fault like the cnc plug in the back there i didn't solder something correctly and it crossed over and it shorted out the main board prime weld was super cool about they just sent me another board i replaced it got it soldered correctly by somebody who knew what they were doing boom now it works great. Everything is fantastic about this machine, the machine itself. The torch, the IPT60 or IPT40 style, this torch is absolute garbage. Even the machine torch, I hate them so much. The consumables don't last at all. It doesn't matter what brand consumables I get. This style of consumable here is just absolute garbage. It's not the machine, it's the consumables. I hate this style. You see a swirl ring right there. You can get that in backwards. And if you get that in backwards, all sorts of crap happens. These electrodes don't last worth a crap. So I was like, well, I like Hypertherm, right? So I found this company right here. Plasmadyne makes a hypertherm duramax style replacement this bad boy right here this is just like a duramax take it up here just like a duramax except for the spring is not in the tip the spring is in the machine i'm assuming that's how they got around all the copyright stuff but everything else here this is just like my Power Max 45 torch. All the same consumables except for the tip. And what an upgrade and what a change that is. That makes a world of difference on how this thing operates. Just that right there brought this up 10 times better. Made it 10 times better. And Prime Weld did finally come out with a machine torch that uses hypertherm style consumables of course they released this after a couple months after i bought my ipt60 style machine torch i did upgrade to this what a difference that thing makes unfortunately the fine cut consumables do not fit in this this is what they call a t45 style hypertherm torch which is the older style, and this is the Duramax style torch. It uses the new style hypertherm consumables that they, that they currently sell, except for the tip. The tip or electrode, I'm sorry, the electrode doesn't have the spring in it. Now we'll go over my Prime Weld MIG 285. This is 
probably if I had to restart all over again, this would be my first shop machine right here. I would buy this. If I had to start over again, actually, I'd buy two of these because they're just so good. It's a, it's, it's just, I don't have the words for how awesome this machine is. Run dual shield with it all the time. If you're wondering where the bottle is, I've gone away from carrying the bottles with the machines. Now I just use a 50 foot argon hose and it's piped back to large bottles like so sitting outside the shop instead of carrying a bottle around it just is way too big of a hassle to try and carry a 300 cubic foot bottle around and i can just do a split regulator on those big bottles run multiple machines off of one bottle it just saves shop floor space and all of that but that's for another day this right here dual shield dual shield dual shield like building stuff like this everything's three bead, three four bead passes Dual shield, big buckets, dual shield, lots of dual shield. And I'm pretty sure that's basically what they sold this machine for here, was to run dual shield. Oh, no. There you go. I do have one of these little, um, one of these little wire cleaner doohickeys on there. I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference, but I bought a pack of them and said, oh, we'll try it out. There's a nice little chart in here machine is a little dusty from sitting in the shop you know that's how you know it's a used machine this ain't a brand new machine they just sent me oh and i'm not sponsored by any of these people just so you know these are all machines i bought to run my business off of i use them every day i use them every day i have not done the stick mode personally on this my guys have ran stick mode off of it and they absolutely love the way the stick mode runs off of it so today I will be using this for dual shield and that for doing some plasma cutting because I got to cut these a little shorter here. So yeah, y'all actually get to see this in action. And I love the MIG gun that they send with this MIG 285. They definitely don't short you on it because this is the large style Tweco gun. That's whale spray on the end of it. I'm trying that out see how it does with anti with um like spatter control got a sample of it fabtech give it a shot now that i got some dual shield here see how it does but they send you a big mig gun they send you a nice big ground clamp they send you good can they send you good parts with it so the only thing my only real issue with the parts that they send with their machines right now is the cut 60 the ground clamp is crap because it's the stamp style and they and the torches are the ipt60 style which i don't like i really want to see the hypertherm style with those that would absolutely just set this right because prime weld also sends the ck tor tig torches with their machines so if they were to start doing the even if it's the old style hypertherm torches with their machines that would just they would destroy miller and lincoln and i honestly believe they have the ability to because these machines are for me have been very reliable their customer service is phenomenal whenever there's a problem you call someone answers someone who knows what they're doing answers the phone and if there's a problem they really go out of their way to fix it they have had better customer service i've had to warranty miller and lincoln they have had better customer service than miller and lincoln As you can see, it's got that really nice, much cleaner hypertherm style cut to it. 
just so, so much straighter so much cleaner that's no straight edge that's just freehand in it right there the only real hiccup and that's because of just the nature of angle iron is this part of the angle iron is thicker than this so that area always kind of becomes a little bit of an issue to get that corner out so i just wound up right here going around the back side like that and then around the front it was around the front and in the back just to get that corner out and it still required a hammer but the cut is a whole lot cleaner than the ipt 60 torch would have ever cut it and you, you can tell just by looking at the arc on this thing the arc is just so much cleaner and more crisp with the hypertherm style torch than the ipt 60 ever was So there we go. This wound up being like four passes, five passes, because I had to butter it up. I would fire the fitter, but uh, the problem is I'm the fitter. So I'd have a hard time firing myself. So I just have to own that and butter it up and do the extra work to get it to work. But you th if you've done this kind of well before, you know how it goes. Sometimes you just got to butter it up and send it. And this is one of those builds. You just got to butter it up and send it. But that right there, that was, I showed two of the four or five passes I did. And I did all that there, all that up there, there, and all over there, all within an hour. And that machine, the prime weld, never slowed up. And this old whale spray actually looks like it's doing pretty good keeping the spatter at bay. And this prime weld here, it just, it's smooth. It's got a nice, clean spray sound to it when you're welding with it.
And some of y'all might be asking, why dual shield? Why not stick weld this thing? Well, dual shield's just faster. And when you run your own business, it's no longer about, you know, oh, look at me, look at how good my stick welds are. Oh, I'm the master of stick welding. Oh, you know, you gotta put that aside and you have to look at your projects objectively and go, what do my projects need? How can I get that the, the quickest and most effective way in a budget that my customer can afford? That is how you have to look at your work from now on when you run your own business. It's no longer, uh, I'm the god of stick welding, I'm the god of TIG. I'm going to TIG everything because, you know, I'm super, super good at TIG and I'll just TIG everything. But your customer can't afford that and you can't afford that either because your time is money. So you have to look at your projects through the perspective of what's the easiest, quickest, most effective way to get the results my customer needs. And that is why I run Dual Shield for a lot of this stuff because it's quick, it's effective, and it's really not that expensive to run. And it gets my customers the results they need. Look at the ceramic coating here. Well Spray is doing a really good job of keeping the spatter off. I'll say I'm very impressed. Almost no spatter on here whatsoever. And if you run a lot of Dual Shield, you know these nozzles get jammed up real fast with spatter. So just for a quick recap, I love the Cut 60, except for the torch that Prime Weld sends and the ground clamp. I don't like the ground clamp and I don't like the torch. Hypertherm replacements are available on eBay through Plasmadyne. Look them up. I'll put a link in the description below. That makes that plasma cutter a million times better. The MIG 285. Fantastic machine. There is really nothing I would change on this machine right now. The only issue they originally had with these was that they only had a Synergic mode, but Prime Weld actually went back and fixed that and offered a board to everyone that had the manual mode added back to it. So now it just has Synergic. I've never used a Synergic. I don't care to use it. It has the manual mode now. So Prime Weld went back and fixed that. Prime Weld does listen to their customer's input, and they do a really good job of putting their customer's input into reality. I'm hoping to get their larger TIG machine. I think it's a 325. Is looks the same case as this, but it's an ACDC TIG. I'm looking to get that machine next. Again, purchased with my own money. Just because of the fact that I, I will buy things that I know will make me money. And I know these Prime Weld machines are solid and will make me money. And if you're just starting out and looking for a simple... TIG stick machine. Prime Weld has this awesome stick 160. I have used this for going into plants and doing TIG welding and little stick welding jobs off of a 100 foot, that 110 cord right there up to 90 amps with that 100 foot 110 drop cord right there and it has never let me down until I tried to do 120 amps and I tripped the breaker and then I spent an hour trying to find the breaker in that plant. That's a story for another day but this machine right here for basically $200 on eBay is probably the best stick machine you're ever going to get. You're looking to start out, guys, and you got a very limited budget. Go grab this bad boy on Amazon. $200 Amazon. It has been phenomenal for me. I don't know about other people, but for me, this machine has been phenomenal. And like I said, Prime Weld has excellent customer service. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And you guys have a fantastic day.